Poetry, beauty, love, romance. In the words of Robin Williams, these are what we stay alive for. Over the past month or so, I've been challenging myself to grab my notebook and write poetry. It was something I enjoyed a lot during my teen years, but I've later let slide due to life and schedules and lack of time. It's calming to get away from my house and get away from computers where I normally sit and type and just have a pen and paper and as daunting as it can be, write what I hear in my mind. Though these aren't polished or professional in any way, here are some of my poems that I really enjoy. Star shooter, fix your scope on the nearest star on the furthest hope. On Orion's bow hangs the sailor's foe. Shoot the string in the albatross balls. Through heaven's curtain, bloody stars splatter. From the old bird's heart and here on after, the star will lose their twinkle and the sailor lose his way. So star shooter, hit the heart of Orion, make him pay. If you wrote me in a book, what would be my hook? What would catch your fancy? And at a glance, by chance, see someone sitting on the porch steps, a girl you haven't met yet, a perfect empty stranger that's in the way of danger. Perfect for any author, a pantser or a plotter, to write in a new formed book, without a line, without a hook. A story that no one's wrote yet, a crooked gambler's risky bet, and how she would despise you, should she find that you, the agony stabbing in her mind, be the work of an author, pantser, or plotter, who had spotted her on the porch and decided to make her his torch. Beware the author whose inspiration is lacklust. Him you cannot trust. Smoky matches, hazy flashes of a life that's past. Lights within her dance and flicker, too dim to be touched. Cake and candles, beach and sandals, arms that hold her close. Rose's thorn prick, grandma's picnic, checkers red and white. Boy girl first kiss, baby's last kick, springing into life. Daddy's gone home, mommy soon follows. Was it worth the pain? Hugs in the rain, love grows insane, stronger than the truth. Clock ticks on the wall, feeling so small. How long does she have left? Then door creaks open, there waddles little Gwen, mother holding hand. Go hug Nana, here's my two silly bananas. Giggles fill the room. Just remember, though I'm gone soon, I'll be smiling from the moon. Thanks for listening. <laughs>